Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a week ahead for Leo. So this is going to be for November 18th through the 24th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. What kind of message I have for you. Let's start right here. What do we got for Leo? What do we have for Leo for the week ahead? One card, please. This card will be delivered in the upright position. One card. Angel of Strength. It did come out reversed. So you're going to need to find some strength, Leo. This is your card. You may be feeling like you're not strong enough, or you may need to find some sort of strength. It did come out reversed. My advice is you're going to need strength this week. You may need strength to let go, because the meaning of the strength card is finding the strength to let go. It could also find, it could be about willpower, discipline, confidence, but this is strength. And this is like an angel giving you the strength that you need, okay? So you have somebody, if you need help, ask, okay? If you need some strength to persevere, ask for it. It looks as though there is some sort of, I mean, this is an angel waiting for you to ask. That's just what I want to tell you. So it's an angel of strength. So you're going to need some strength and that's a five. Okay. Fives are about, um, conflict. Fives bring in adversity. So you may be dealing with some sort of adversity this week in which you're going to need to have some sort of strength. Okay. Now we're going to get a couple of these. Let's get a couple of these for Leo. Just a couple. One more. Well, what did we get? Well, we got four more. We're going to have to take them, right? So what do we have for Leo for the week ahead? Mountain. There's a major challenge to overcome. Makes sense, huh? You're going to need strength to overcome some sort of challenge. Bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. So you might be receiving some sort of compliments. Apple. Temptation will test you. So you're going to be tempted to go down the wrong road. You may need to find strength to act with integrity or to do the right thing. You may be tempted. Temptation is ruled by the devil. You may be tempted to do something that's not good for you. You might want to think twice, okay? Take, think twice before you bite. Heart, great happiness. So whatever is happening, it's going to bring you some sort of happiness. There's going to be a challenge before it, though. You're probably going to have to pass a test. And if you pass this test, you will find happiness. So, let's just put these right over here. Leo. What do we have for Leo for the week ahead? Three of coins reversed and the star card reversed. You may be losing hope or a dream may be dashed. There's, there's like dashed dreams here perhaps, feeling hopeless. There could be a lack of faith. This could be a time of despair with the star reversed. You may feel like things are just not the way that you hoped that they would be. There's a lack of teamwork. It's like there's no, somebody wasn't working together or they refused to work together, you know, and that is a problem. When you can't work as a team, that is a problem. So this is, there's a lack of teamwork, a lack of cooperation here, and that may cause some sort of, uh, You know, this is a, a wish not being fulfilled. So let's see what else we got. Yeah. 
Nine of coins. You may be going your own way. Now this is having the skills to be successful. This is abundance. This is somebody that can definitely take care of themselves. Definitely knows how to take care of themselves. The Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody that is stable. Has an opportunity to enjoy the finer things in life. But this is also a card of independence, okay? So you may be uh, enjoying your independence or you may be deciding to go your own way and not work with anybody. Maybe you realize that that's not what you were asked for. Maybe you realize, realize you didn't ask for something and you decide to, you know, just go your own way. King of Swords. Now this guy is very decisive. This is a decision maker. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be an investigator. This person is... Uh, I feel like this is somebody in authority. Somebody acted recklessly. They were foolish. Somebody acted foolishly. They didn't want to work with anybody. Very stubborn. This person sees things absolutely clearly. Very clearly. We have a new beginning here, Leo. This is an exciting opportunity to start fresh. It is. These are both start fresh. You're going to be given the opportunity... It's like to break free from something because this is alone and this is break free and start fresh. Start with a clean slate. But you have to find the strength. Remember, this came out reversed to let go of something. Now, this is a decision maker right here. This is the end of a contract. You're going to be ending some sort of contract in the upcoming week because this is the end of a contract. That just isn't meant to be. It's not compatible. It's probably not what you asked for anyway. This is very decisive. I think that somebody is going to be making a decision to end a contract that just isn't meant to be. I think it's it's going. It could be a it could be a very quick, sudden decision. This is very sudden. Somebody's going to take action. They've been acting recklessly and they may have been taking advantage of another person or being taken advantage of. But this is an opportunity to start fresh with a clean slate and perhaps not work with any of these people anymore. Maybe, maybe that's what you need. Maybe you just need to go your own way and turn your back on this whole situation, Leo. Yeah, somebody has brought you down. You're not in the highest vibration. You're not feeling very good. You may be in some sort of denial. That there's lack of drive. There's lack of discipline. There's lack of ambition here. You're probably feeling really weighed down. You're probably feeling tired. You're just not feeling it. You're not feeling in your own element. And it's because there's some kind of contract that is not compatible that you need to you need to find the strength to let go of. This Queen of Wands reverse. This is this is you. You know, you may see yourself as a victim here, or you may be in a state of mind where it's poor, poor, poor me. I, I can't do this. I can't. Wow, wow, wow. That's just the energy, okay? I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody who is very controlling, but in a way that is... Well, you look at her. She looks pretty uh, devious, huh? Pretty devious, in a devious way. So I think that maybe you have some sort of fear. You do have fear. This is fear and this is fear as well because this is lack of strength. Lack of confidence. 
You have the skills to be successful on your own. Somebody is lacking confidence and they're lacking courage and they're lacking strength and they're lacking willpower and they don't want to accept change. Very controlling. Clinging to control. May have a lot of pride. Pride may get in, be getting in the way of your own success. You may, and this is pity. It's like almost like you, you're in this state of lack of faith, lack of hope. You know, it's that that pitiful, pitiful me. You know what I mean? You can't if you if hey if that's the way you want to live, then that's the way you choose to live. But there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you can find your ambition and your drive and get your mojo back and take ownership of whatever this is. Because you have the skills to be successful and take care of yourself quite well. But there is a contract here that needs to come to an end. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, Gemini. You may be dealing with a Gemini. Gemini, Libra. Somebody needs to go. It's time to, somebody needs to say goodbye. It's time to leave the emotionally disappointing situation behind you. You have a fresh new start waiting for you. It's like it's waiting for you to take that leap of faith. It's waiting for you to drop this baggage that you are holding on to. That's the fool's holding on to baggage. Drop it. Go. Just walk away. You could be headed towards something more emotionally fulfilling. Something that could really make you happy. You just have to take those steps. Let go of the need to control. This is over controlling. This is somebody who really wants to be in control of a contract. Of a union that isn't meant to be. And that's lack of integrity. If it's not meant to be, let it go. Anyway, this is a decision being made that somebody is saying goodbye. And you're going to feel relief. You are going to be feeling some sort of relief, Leo. The Five of Wands re reversed. You may have been reluctant to let somebody go or reluctant to walk away. But I'm telling you what, after you do it, you are going to feel instant relief. This is instant relief. The tug of war is done. Done. You can breathe again. Somebody's been clinging. Clinging to the past. Clinging to the memories. Clinging to the children. Six of Cups reversed. But there's no harmony. And there's no peace. And there's going to be a decision. I know there is. There's going to be a decision that is going to be made. I feel like somebody has been trying to avoid the truth. They've been in denial. They've been blocking the truth. Not wanting to see the truth even though they really knew the truth. It's like they could see the truth. They knew what they needed to do. But they just couldn't do it because of pride, ego, and control. You know, wanting to win. This is the power struggle, the tug of war, the competition. Wanting to win this competition. Why, why do you want to fight when you can have freedom? This, you can have freedom. You could, you, could, you, could, you could go on a new adventure. This is a fresh start. This is a fresh start. But you're going to have to find the strength and the confidence that you are lacking to let go of something. You have all the skills to be successful. I'm telling you that you do. But you have to... You have to... Believe. And have faith. That everything happens for a reason. I see lack of believing. Lack of faith. 
Believe that there is something better out there for you. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. It's like we have somebody here that's just not putting in any effort, not working hard enough, has given up. Seriously, somebody has is, is given up. And maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe you need to give up. Maybe you need to give up, give up the fight. This is the fight. Give up the fight. And the fight is reversed. Give up the fight. There's, and it's like I want to prove myself. No, there's nothing to prove. There's nothing to prove. You're better off on your own. Just think this would be enjoying the finer things in life. No stress. None. The Nine of Pentacles is an independent person who gets up in the morning with a smile on their face because there's no stress. But right now, you're, you're, you, it's like you're, you're living in this stressful situation where you're not feeling good, where you're feeling uh, anger and angst and no energy and no drive and no passion. You're, sta you're choosing it. You're choosing to stay in this position because it has something to do with power and control. It does. Maybe it's time to give up the fight so that you can have peace. Right around the corner is a happy life. Right around the corner this storm will be over if you choose to give up the fight. The choice, the choice is yours. Good luck.